Here's tonight's flagman at Irwindale Speedway. He has the nice crisply pressed embroidered shirt, the uh, headset radio, a full set of flags. There's only one problem. Not up on the flag stand. <laughs> but that's pretty neat. Yeah, it is. A lot of racetracks uh, have kids like that that'll come down with a set of flags and uh, enjoy themselves and learn how it's done. And that kid's good, Mike. He knows how to wave them. Yes, he does. Well, maybe he coached uh, David Giotto from uh, Toyota, from TR Toyota Race Development, who will be our honorary starter tonight. 40 cars set to go, 26 of them determined by time, then eight provisionals, then six from the last chance race. You've heard all about Case and Logano, who share the front row. Veteran Mike Duncan among the three kids around him, including Mark Davis. Brian Eichler, last year's winner Matt Kobaluk. Foster Thompson, Sellers, and McDonald. The top ten by time. Here's your second ten, mostly from the West Coast. Very few East Coasters in positions 11 through 20. In fact, I don't see one. And you'll see provisional starters beginning with uh, Eric Harden and Mike Olson, a former Bush East champ. Hayes and Haas took four of the provisionals. Inglebright, Thurio, Salemi, and Smith took the others. And the final six drivers, headed by Mike Johnson and Greg Persley, got in from the last chance race. They're on the pace laps. We're ready to race. You know? This might be a three boogity night. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> the Toyota Tundra has the field in tow as we're on the pace laps. They'll take five of them to get everything up to temperature for these cars that have been impounded since qualifying yesterday afternoon. Well, you leave the door unlocked. You never know what's going to walk in. Hi, Daryl. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome. This was planned, and uh, we're just happy to have you join us. Oh, uh, listen, this is one of my favorite events, Mike. I watched it last year. You and Doc did this on TV. I was back home, and I said, next year I'm going to be there. By golly, this is an exciting race, and I'm glad to be here. Good deal. Uh, let's have a look at our onboard cameras. We have five of them tonight. Moses Smith from Tempe, Arizona, number 78, starting deep in the field. He had the last provisional spot available. Alex Haas is from Las Vegas. He's driving for a Star Nursery and uh, Kyle Busch Motorsports in that number 88. He's a Kyle Busch development driver. Another one. Yeah. How do you do that at 21? I uh, we'll explain later. Eric Richardson from Bakersfield. He starts 21st tonight in the number 50, the Green Frog Racing Entry. Number 81 is Brett Thompson from Jerome, Idaho. The pet's best. Vacom Technologies Chevrolet. And you heard earlier from Brian Eichler. Here's the view out his Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet, number 16, starting fifth. Mike David, Mike Olson are going to drop to the back. David, a lot of work done on his car after he hammered the wall. And Olson, because he had to change a rear gear, which he lost in qualifying. Let's get out of the pits. There's going to be two pit stops tonight, Dick. One is going to come at or near lap 100, the other at or near lap 200. The 50 laps prior to that second pit stop are going to be very important tonight. Most of the crew chiefs are saying, I want my guy to go as hard as he possibly can right then so we get a good idea of how we need to adjust that car for that final 50 lap sprint tonight, Jim. Well, West Series champion Mike David yesterday had a guaranteed spot, but yet in qualifying spun. Nine hours later, the team has the Bennett Lane Winery Ford back on the racetrack. He'll have to start at the tail after replacing the nose, the air box, the radiator, steering box, oil cooler, the rot, die rods, and ball joint. He'll have to do it for the back, guys. He came up the second last year. We'll see what he can do with that damaged race car. Thanks, Jim. These are probably not the only fireworks we're going to see tonight. Daryl? Well, it's uh, it's it's one of my most mem one of my most fun things to do. Coming off a of turn four, the green flag in here. Buggity, buggity, buggity! Let's go race it, boys and girls. Trouble on the start for Mark Davis in the 18. He fell from fourth all the way back to eighth as Sean Case will lead them off turn four for the first lap. Fast Lane has been upstairs throughout the weekend. They were four wide in the back coming off turn four. 
some of the guys I was talking to about the cars here, they like that high line because with the big carburetor and the engine package they have, it's about momentum. And that high line is where you get all that good momentum off the corner. This track is progressively banked. The low groove is the flattest, the high groove is the steepest, but of course it's the long way around. Front seven, single file. Here's the first side-by-side -side action. With the number eight down low, Johnny Borneman. Borneman to the inside, trying to take advantage of 65, or 66 there. I think you'll see uh, Foster. Mike, you'll see the old slide job a lot here tonight. You come in on that bottom line carrying a lot of speed, and you've just got the car, you got to let the car run up and take that line of that outside line away. Up front, it's all single file, but in the back of the pack, they are two wide, three wide, and all over each other. One of the problems with running down low is that, that the tires, you wear your tires out quicker because you've got a lot tighter turn that you got to run off of, and that makes that right rear tire give up a lot quicker. So the high line takes care of those tires longer. There's number two, Mike David, coming up from the back. After crashing his car and qualifying, as you saw, he gives up a spot there to Moses Smith, takes it right back. Behind him, Woody Pitcat, and the six is the runner-up in the Whalen All-American Series of NASCAR for 2007, driving a set back up Mike Olson car. He had to qualify through the Conchie last night, and just about everybody in the pits, it seemed, helped Mike David in that number two car get the car back together again. Some of the folks provided food, others provided steel. Two people brought welders over. One of the other teams offered and put the front end back on the car, hung the nose of it. It was a group effort. If, if Mike just sort of stood there and watched and said, this is what's so nice about racing people. Well, i tell you something, Doc. I was looking at the car. It's one of the best-looking cars here, paint job-wise. You can't tell that it was almost total last night. They did an amazing job on that car. Mike David trying to move up from the back. He's currently 34th in this 40 car field and slides up just a bit. Third place battle as Joey Logano was under under fire from Brian Eichler. You're riding with Eichler. I like what we heard from Eichler in pre-race, Mike. He talked about wanting to go very hard early in the race to see how the tires would behave on a relatively short run, say about 40 or 50 laps. That's going to be the last segment. What he learns could be of enormous benefit to him as we get into that final 50 lap segment. It doesn't surprise me to see that 16 car run up front because every time I've been here, that car has been the car to beat. It won this race, uh, what, three years ago? First time with Austin Cameron. With Austin Cameron at the wheel. And uh, to see it up there fighting for the lead, no big surprise. Four car breakaway in the early laps as Eichler continues trying to get past Logano. Let's drop you back to seventh place. Mark Davis in the 18, Johnny Borneman in the eight. Car against the wall, front straightaway, slowing. That's Jeff Barkshire from Idaho. Luckless in previous attempts here, and now he brings out the Knights' first caution. He got in, got in the wall pretty hard over here in three and four, and uh, knocked the whole right front of the thing in. Barkshire is zero for four going into tonight finishing races at this speedway he may be zero for six let's take a look and see what happened here doc uh, it looks like up in the middle of three and four here you'll see him uh he's already, oh, he's in, already the in the wall so he had some kind of problem may have had a right front go down on that car because it went up pretty quickly first caution of the night comes at lap 13 for jeff barkshire 